Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. And today we're taking another look at one of my spotlight weapons. Uh, we're sticking with the veteran sharpshooter. And today is something a little bit different. Something that if you've watched the live streams, you might have heard me say, no, I'm never going to use that. But I've actually fallen in love with it. This is the Rax Mark III Headhunter Auto Gun. And uh, I actually really like it. And I'm going to show you why. So, when I first started playing with these, they weren't great, but they've patched it a few times. They're actually incredibly usable, and I find they're a really nice uh, in-between spot from, say, the Cantrell or one of the full auto, uh, auto, well, the full auto, you know, auto guns. And you can chew through stuff pretty well with it. Especially if you're using it as a longer ranged, um, not so much sniping, but you know, mid to long range shooting, or uh, if you want the more run and gun. But because this is a semi auto, it shoots in three shot bursts, but it's pretty goddamn accurate from the hip. So you can still use it as the run and gun, as I did with the uh, Agrippina, I think it was. Yeah, the Agrippina Mark 1, which is my run and gun go-to. So, with the Vrax, uh, this, I'm still trying to build my perfect version, but this is the best one I've got so far. And uh, we'll go through how, I've, how I'm trying to set it up. So, damage, mobility, ammo, and stopping power are the ones I'm trying to get higher up. Stability, it seems you don't actually need the stability too much on the Headhunters. Because even hip firing and aiming down sights, it doesn't change it too much. So that's the one I'm using is the dump modifier. And perk wise, it's usually my standard uh, black and manic, but I've got carapace on this, which is damn near fucking pointless because it's an auto gun. I mean, I'll show you what I mean. Let's reload. So I've actually got a bit of a. So carapace armor. I mean, you can do a bit of damage, but, you know, why mag dump into one carapace armored enemy when you can let someone else deal with it and you keep picking off the specials? So I wouldn't bother. So for that, the perks I would always try and get are black and manic, because I have found playing Dominion with this, uh, Berserkers, Anything with the Manic uh, subtitle just takes a little bit too much killing without the increased buff on it. So I would always try for uh, the, the, that perk. And Blessings wise, uh, Ghost is pretty much my go-to. Immune to range attacks for eight, uh, 0 0.8 seconds on weak spot hit. You're going to be aiming for the face anyway. So this just gives you a bit more survivability. And Headhunter, I don't usually go with Headhunter, but it was it was the one I decided to keep in the blessings. So four uh, plus four percent crit chance on weak spot hit until your next crit. You're mostly aiming for the head anyway. So this is just keeping your crit rolling, especially if you're not going for like a high crit build, which I'm not. I'm going for a general purpose grenade. Please stay the fuck away from me build. So yeah, that really does help out. But I do have um, fucking truckload of racks in the wings waiting to get leveled up and I've still not managed to get one with um, the right perk balance on it but yeah it's it's a very fun little gun to play with and I highly suggest uh, trying them out uh, I will talk more about the other headhunter rifles but out of all of them the Vrax Mark 3 is my pick if you were to use one just because of its uh, its firing speed its stability and general damage it, it's it's really nice to go from accurate sniping to oh my god shoot everything I'm terrified and as you can see the hip fire is actually pretty good on it I will try and I'll actually show you what I mean by the the manic damage which is I don't know if it's just the gun or whether the blessing uh, the perk actually makes that much of a difference 
But I mean, when you've got three of them coming towards you. The, the flak armoured ones aren't too bad because obviously you're getting the flak multiplier on them. I mean, it's these ones and the netters I've really found where you need that uh, the perk to drop them quickly. But yeah, so I really hope uh, you've enjoyed the video, folks. And uh, there'll be more coming, as always. And until the next time, see you later. And uh, if you have enjoyed, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. It really does help us out. So until next time, see you later.